Hi, my name is Jessie Chen. I'm the holder of this diary. Call it when traveling. I got up at 6:30 and headed to the bus station without eating breakfast. The departure time was still at 8:20, and I was thinking, "Come on, almost two hours earlier. Even if there's any accidents, do I need to worry about running out of time?" December 26, 2021, from Bratislava to Budapest, Hungary. You're leaving. The same receptionist asked me. Yes, this time I'm really leaving. I don't believe you. He said in a joking tone. No. Anyway, I had a great time here. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This time, I was well prepared to leave Bratislava. Looking at the sky, it was still a bit dark, which means I got plenty of time. So the restless girl in my heart started to plan something. Hmm. How about taking another road this time? She wasn't afraid of missing the bus again, and decided to take the risk. And guess what? The result was positive. I not only enjoyed the feeling of exploring a new road, but also arrived there seven minutes earlier compared to taking the previous route. It seems keeping the nature of oneself is somewhat right. However, the nature went right. But the digital signage wasn't. At 7:30, I was staring at the signage, searching for my bus. Why buses after 8:30 are all showed, but only mine isn't? Is this really the place where I should take the bus? Or my bus to Budapest is special, so it's not taken from here. Maybe on the ground. I started to get nervous, but I couldn't seek any help from the service counter because. It hadn't reached work time. I then went to the platform outside, trying to look into more information, and it was there that I bumped into the Indian and Egyptian guy I met two days ago in a party. I told Egyptian guy that I can't find my bus, and the service counter isn't open until eight, which for me was too late because if my bus was really somewhere outside from here, plus the walking time. I may miss the bus again. You know what? The receptionist I bumped into this morning said he doesn't believe I'm really leaving, and now I'm afraid his words are gonna come true. Hey, don't worry. The app indicates you take the bus in A S Milinski Nivi, right? Then this is the right place. It won't get wrong. Egyptian guy said patiently, and he started to help me check the real time information on every platform, which was really kind, and I really appreciated. At eight, I was hurried to the service counter. Hi, is the Felix bus to Budapest at eight twenty taken here? Yes, but why there's no information on the board? Not every bus will be showed there. Oh, complicated Bratislava! For the bus station, I got it. It might be the fast development that makes the map didn't catch up the reality. But how's the bus? Why not every bus is showed? That was really confusing. But anyway, I was relieved after hearing the news. I then took the bus on time and arrived in Budapest smoothly. Oh, by the way, I bump into the Indian couple again on bus. What a coincidence, right? At twelve, I arrived at Avenue Hostel. After checking, I went upstairs. Hey, you finally made it! She's Emma, a friend of mine whom I met in rugby team when I was in college. She was doing exchange program in Finland then, but I didn't visit her there. We then came up the idea of spending Christmas and New Year together in Budapest. Oh, actually, there's another our team member doing similar program in Finland, and I did visit her there, but she refused to join our Budapest trip because she was kind of busy. 
Anyway, I finally met Emma, though it was a day late. After talking a little bit, we then went to a restaurant called Mensa for lunch. The restaurant was very busy, but the vibe is cozy, probably because they adopt warm colors everywhere. When I opened the menu, I was surprised that there were so many vegetarian options. As to Emma, she was surprised that the price was so cheap. Well, according to her, she had been poor for a long time since she stayed in Finland. At an ordered brown rice facility with spinach and Asian mushrooms, and garlic cream soup with traditional Hungarian fried bread topped with sour cream and cheese. The taste of facility is good. As to the soup, the first bite was impressive because I never had this. However, the third, fourth bite was just too much. Sour cream and cheese just made me really full. After the lunch, we took a walk along the famous Andrus Avenue to Saint Stephen's Basilica. We hung around the Christmas market there. Around 5 p.m., the sky had got dark. We happened to walk to Hungarian Parliament building to appreciate its night beauty. I feel like Hungarian Parliament has mixed characteristic of Miss Pyramid of the Louvre and the gorgeous model Eiffel Tower. It's always attractive, no matter in daylight or at night, and it has that kind of charm that people never get tired of. Most importantly, it's got its style, unlike Baroque architecture, makes it more approachable. In addition, its location just makes people, especially couples, have no resistance of it. The building is situated right next to Danube River. Between the building and the river, there's a space for walking. I would say it's definitely one of the best dating spots in Budapest. Written by Jesse Chan. Thanks for your reading.